next guest is part of a new generation of internet superstars. Tanya Burr is a UK beauty blogger. Her online tutorials attract 15 million visitors a month. And if you're not convinced at her popularity, have a look at the crowd outside <laughs> our window here to see her today. Boys, can we pan along a bit? Because yeah. there are many more girls than that screaming out there. She is in Australia showing girls how to go from drab to fab in just a few minutes. She's the brunette beauty taking the online world by storm. Tanya Burr launched her own YouTube channel in 2009. It's just a really sheer, pretty pale pink and a keto lips hydrated, which I love. Today, she's big business. She has over two and a half million subscribers, over 900,000 followers on Twitter, her own product line, and has been dubbed one of the top beauty video bloggers in the world. These are the date night lashes. They're really, really pretty and wearable. Tanya is best known for her makeup and fashion tutorials, with each one attracting millions of clicks. I think this lipstick is incredible. I know you have to be quite brave to wear it, but I think it's so fun to take risks. Now the internet superstar is on our shores for her upcoming book. Oh, and Tanya joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Um, now look at look at your fans. What, give them a wave. They're Don't so cute. They were screaming before. This is massive. I know isn't it's it? huge. Mm. And there are a lot of bloggers, a lot of vloggers out there. What made you a success? Do you think? I think it's really hard to put your finger on um, what can make you successful, but I think when I speak to my viewers and chat to them outside and ask why they watch my videos, it's because they feel like they're watching a friend. And when I meet them, it feels like we're genuinely friends because we have so much in common, because they watch my videos because they relate to me, so obviously I'm going to relate to them at the same time. So I think it's just about being yourself. So are you running out of things to chat about online, or is that never end? Is that a stupid um, question because there's more makeup products than you can... I'm a really uh, creative person, so I don't tend to run out of ideas. And if I do, I'll just tweet saying, um, what do you guys want to see? And these guys give me all the ideas, so um, it's never a problem. Mm. So what's, what's your message um, to women about makeup? Because there are so many products out there. It is such a complicated world, and it can be quite intimidating. I think that makeup is obviously something I'm really passionate about and it's definitely something to enjoy and you can use it to enhance your looks but at the same time I think it's really important for women to feel confident bare faced and I only actually managed to feel confident without wearing makeup when I was in my when I was about 20 and I wish that I'd known in my teens if I could tell my teenage self go out with no makeup on and just embrace it and feel confident and then on the odd day when you want to feel amazing with makeup on you can do that too and it's mm. just mm. play around with it don't take it too seriously okay so just quickly tell us what you must have items are what's in your makeup bag what would you never must leave home without okay I never leave home without Elizabeth Arden eight-hour cream oh yes um, what do you do with that because everyone says you're supposed to have it but what do you use it for I use it as a hand cream sometimes do sometimes you? I do um, I always have it beside my bed and I usually have hand cream as well but if I forget and don't have hand cream on my bedside table I'll just use it with eight hour cream also okay. on your legs uh, like for you guys because you have your legs out today it would look you um, should have put some on okay <laughs> yeah it's a tip it would we'll take it yeah it would look amazing <laughs> if you just kind of put it down your shins because you're shine, shine but I use shin. it as lip balm as yeah. well Right. Uh, and what and what um, makeup base do you use? What um, foundations do you use? Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Um, I've got that mixed with Nars Shea Glow on today. Okay. Yes, I'm wearing a mixture. Could pick your brains all day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know the, um, the Oscars are coming up next month. What sort of? I mean, we take our cues from Hollywood celebrities, mm. at, at, no matter what age we you do. are, a lot yes. of the time. Yes. Um, what What are the trends? Do you think coming up for Hollywood? I've seen a lot of um, like colour blocking and um, bringing makeup into that as well. So Emma Stone did it really well recently where she wore a red lip and a bright hot pink dress. Mm. And you wouldn't usually think that those two things would go together very well, but she pulled it off amazingly. Um, so I think I'll see a bit more of that because I think she was kind of the mm. initiator of doing okay. something so cool. Okay. I that. So, uh, should I have worn a Red a lip. Red lip with this. <laughs> what would you have put I with I feel mine? like your makeup really suits your outfit because that's a neon dress. So I think. <laughs> it's a Thanks. full on dress. Thanks, Tanya. Mm -hmm. Tanya, great to meet you. We'd like to go and see your fans. Thanks for coming yeah. in. Thank you so much. Yeah. For and good on you. Yeah. It's a hard Fantastic. industry, isn't it?